All right, guys, so in this video, we'll bring y'all behind the scenes of how we built Kodak Black's bike in under 10 days. All right, y'all, so 30 minutes in. Got classes off, pipes off, wheels off, I don't know, a bunch of stuff off. I've just been ripping at it. So, everything is going smooth right now. So, uh, I don't know, probably another 30 minutes, engine will be out. Keep y'all updated, man. Hopefully it goes, it goes back together as good as it's going apart. All right, y'all, so the rear end, the whole rear end is like brand new. I literally just got it. So we're taking that, taking that off, and it's really good, best of the best parts. We're using that for Kodak's bike. The A-arms we're using, because just the way it sits, they're, they're, they're new. So the bikes gonna sit nice. So those parts, like we're gonna we're gonna put on Kodak's bike. We know they look nice, and we have them already. We don't have to wait for them. So that's why we're using those parts. Uh, I just figured it was easier to rip the whole bike apart. It only took us a few hours to do it. Tomorrow is is getting the parts ready for sandblasting. And other than that, man, we're just waiting on parts. Moral story: waiting on parts. <laughs> so tomorrow we plan on going get another Banshee. Like that's really gonna we're gonna transform really transform that banshee and use the parts from that banshee also with a mixture of these parts to make it happen. So I take y'all walk around what we did whole front end off just the motors here. This is the stock length swing arms. Best of the best parts you can get. Like I said from Cunningham Fabrication, and we just got all the parts just scrambled out right now. Like I'll, I'll organize it later. But a arms we're gonna be using. Got a new radiator coming in, new plastics, all that's coming in. We'll be do, using these. Uh, we got you know, the big old Terpskis, some electron, electron, electron carburetor. So, got the billet axle we're gonna be using. We were really, really stressing about these pipes. That was the biggest thing about this project. We knew we were gonna like have trouble getting parts to us. Another thing is we gotta get, the, we gotta get. A seat done, like custom stitch. All right, so this is our seat. Right now, that was on the Skittle. We're not using this seat. Plain right now. So it's plain, guys, right now. So watch what we're gonna be able to do to this. We, we got it. We gotta have the hook up on that. Custom. I don't wanna say too much. You gotta just wait, you know what I'm saying? So other than that, take the, take the motor out in the morning, man. Let's get ready. I still have a few parts to do, like, like in the front hose. But I mean, yeah, it's light work. All right, so y'all just see we dropped off the parts. So that was the parts we had now. Get them sandblasted. And now the hard part is we need to find a frame and a gas tank quick, like now, like today. And so that's that's our next challenge. All right, y'all, so right now we're in New Orleans, uh, crossing over to GNO. Heading to New Orleans, easy to go pick up a Banshee. So we're going by a complete roller, no engine, just a complete roller, and we're gonna transform that into, uh, you know, strip it down, sandblast it, powder coat it. So, you know, as long as we get it for the right price, you know, we're gonna buy that. And if we don't, we do have a plan B, you know, like with, 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 with this project, and with it being so ASAP, you know, we gotta have a plan B, plan C for every single thing. So what you think? The front just looks like it's hurt. Like, it's missing. Like it ain't got no legs on it? Nothing, it's crawling, bro. What kind of, dude, what kind of throttle is this? Take it, take it, take it, take it. You know what I thought about pulling down the street? I was like, dude, we should have got back plastics and seen how they look. We can still buy them. And you think they'll get here? Yeah, we can still buy them. Look and see when they'll get here. June 8th to the 10th. But I can call Amazon and tell them to speed it up. Yeah, I say we do that. Barely even knew what day it was, kind of lost track. Uh, it's about 11.40 p.m. And we came home straight from getting another Banshee, straight to getting this motor out. Now we're about to start on the Banshee we just picked up.
Alright, so we got everything done. We got the bike stripped. Uh, right now it is 3.14 a.m. You know how it is. It takes longer than expected. We had to get like little stuff out, bearings and bushings and all, you know, we'll get all brand new bearings, bushings. So we had to get all the old stuff out before you get it baked in and, and sandblasted. So that's it. So we'll see y'all. We'll update tomorrow and uh, go and put, go and get all this stuff sandblasted. Love to see it. More points inbound. Biggest worry about this project, guys, was getting pristine mint pipes. We don't have to worry about that now. We got brand new shares that came in. Uh, check them out. All right, guys, it is crunch time. 1 a.m. We're working after hours, man. We, so tonight, we're just, we've just been getting all the stuff, the whole garage situated, all the parts that we have laid out, and we've been freshening up the motor. We're waiting on one part to come in. So, uh, and a few parts weren't able to get in, so that's only, it's only, it's the way it is. You know, when doing this stuff in 10 days, so. Yeah, that's why we bought that second Banshee for stuff like this. We have extra parts. Uh, we got backup on backups on backups. We're waiting on a throttle to come in. That's that's what we're waiting on. And our front tires in the rob, so we had to we had to shake up some new tires. Uh, that was our only hiccup was waiting was uh, not getting those two parts in. But guys, we had to call all every every company that we ordered from. Pretty much, we had to call all the companies and tell them, look, we need this part right now send it right now we had to expedite literally every single part hopefully we don't run any hiccups building the bike because we're doing it we're gonna have to do it at night time so like you know any hardware stores that we need any small things is not going to be open so and we got to leave in the morning the next day tomorrow powder coat let's do it yes. Seven twenty-two, about to start. Uh, we're gonna get all the all the parts that we have now. Just gonna go to town on them, and then uh, later tonight we're gonna pick up the last batch of everything, all the, all the gold parts and a few more yellow parts we got. So that's it. Um, about to get the cranking. Friday, June 10th, 204 a.m. Kodak birthday is tomorrow. We got the powder coat in. We, we got all the parts in. It was 12 o'clock we got all the parts. So we've been just busting butt, getting it done. Uh, we're gonna be up to the sun. We're gonna watch the sun come up in the garage, putting, putting together the parts. We're gonna watch the sun come up, long night. So we got the motor put in. Control arms on, control arms on, and the swing arm on. Uh, and say, man, we just, we're, we're, we're trying to get this stuff put on. Like, you know how it is with powder coat, parts don't fit. It's 
daylight. I mean, 221 daylight. Things were a little not as planned. We planned on leaving like early in the morning. But when the back brakes don't work and the threads in the frame are stripped, then it takes a little longer. We've been up for how long? We got the rest of we got the rest of the we got the rest of the powder cut at 1 a.m. We've been working since 7:30 last night. Yeah, we worked since 7:30 last night. It's 2:20. How many hours? So a lot. The update is. <laughs> the update is we're hungry. The update is we're hungry. No update. The update is we're hungry. We're finna go eat, and then we're gonna we're gonna eat. And then we'll come back out, we'll put on the plastics, we'll start the bike, make sure it runs good, and then we're gonna throw it in the back truck, head to Miami. <laughs> see what time that is. I ain't know if you can smell it, so I can smell it. Gotta make you see it. What's it looking like, man? It's 5.30 p.m. We've been at it for 22 hours straight. We have not slept. Yep. They're gonna sit like that. Woo! Oh, that's no. yeah, that's oh, no. Woo! Lauderdale, had the bike loaded up in the van. All right, y'all, so part of the process of building this bike in 10 days, we could not mess up anything. We had to think ahead of the game on every single part, everything. So look, we had the bike in the truck on the way here, so ran wrap, and was nothing getting to it. We had to get the bike to Lamar's house while anything happened to it, but look, look at look outside. So that's why we got the van. We're pulling up, let's see how it goes, about to get real. How to get real. Hello, Lamar. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you. We're about the yeah, whole doing? team. We're about the whole team. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, bro. I appreciate y'all. So we gonna um, y'all gonna follow me to his um to his mom's house. All right. Yeah. So we can drop it off over there. All right. You wanna look at it real quick or yeah, what? Yeah, Shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's hard. That's hard. My son, oh my god, <laughs> you don't like it? You don't yeah, like it? he's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're like behind the stage, in between the football field and the school back here. All right, we can get to you. Just send it over. All right. Let's go pull up on him. Come knock the trunk, you feel me? Them boy can't wave from where y'all boy from? New Orleans. Got you a gift right there from Lamar Jackson. Check it out. Yes, sir. Birthday to that boy, KT. Yeah, it's Who this from? Can't wait from Louisiana. Oh, oh, shit. Must, um, yeah, Sniper game. Yeah. Yeah. That's that check, boy. God damn, I don't know what type of money y'all boy making, boy. Yeah. But I fresh out the shop. <laughs> put it on live real quick. I'm going to let it warm up real quick. I'm going to ride it over there. All right. Happy birthday to my brother, man. 25. Quarter of a century. Big ups to him. Shout out to him, man. Happy Z Day. <laughs>
I also last night uh, at, we're at Kodak's event. Everything went perfect. He hopped on the bike, started it, all that. So after the event, it got super crazy. Now waiting to link back up with Kodak, and uh, I guess we'll bring it to his house, give it to him. He'll be able to see it in the daytime. It was real dark last night, so be, it, be able to see it in the daytime. Ride, hopefully he rides it. And uh, I think he really liked it last night. He was pretty surprised. So the next day. Pull up the Kodak's house now, let him see in the daylight. That bitch hard, boy. Yeah, he wanted to be here, but he, he doing some whole other shit. Damn, y'all did this? Y'all yeah, built this up? Everything. God damn, what the fuck? This bitch clean as hell. Let me call that boy real quick. Yeah. My boy, yeah. I'm, I'm finna meet you, but. I didn't know this first. Okay. You already had seen that thing. Okay. You wanna ride? <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not really like a regular we got some got some little bit different stuff on it, like the lights are probably custom made. Like you control them all through your phone. So uh, if you want me to give you like the app and all that, it's a ported motor, it's, it's pretty it's pretty fast. It's so fire though. Uh, yeah, appreciate y'all yeah. Alright y'all, we're in Miami, job complete. Like I said, shout out Lamar Jackson. It would not have been possible without him. And a whole lot of people behind the scenes helped out with this. Y'all are gonna see it in the video. It took a team effort. Crazy, it was crazy to do it in 10 days. Like, we did it in less than 10 days, y'all. So, shout out Lamar. Happy birthday, Kodak. Hope you enjoy the bike. Built by Scoot Skittle, man. Only banshee like it in the world.